All right, so small video guys, showing you guys the difference between the rods that are found in the 4, 8, 5, 3, and 6 liters. Uh, there was a division year right around 05 where they switched rod designs and uh, there is a difference in the power they can handle and uh, some other small differences. I just want to show you guys how this, some of this works. Um, typically, a trick that I use when I'm in the junkyard or looking to see which one I have if I don't know the year is I'll look at these bolts here and then the bolts that hold on the exhaust manifold. When both locations are 10 millimeter, it's going to be the little I-beam or okay, LS1 style. Let's just get that out of the way right away. There's different names for them. I call them I-beam, H-beam just for ease, but they're really LS1 style, LS2 style, uh, and even LS1 style and dimple style, because they have a dimple there I'll show you. But I-beam, H-beam is what I've always called them, and I'll stick to it just because of habit. Anyway, when both of these bolt locations are 10 millimeter, it's going to be the I-beam. When they are both 13 millimeter, it is going to be the H-beam. If it's a mixture of both, it could be either one. All right, so let's look at the differences here. Uh, 536048, um, same uh, switch around the same time in the year, uh, around 05, they switched them. Uh, the rods are different though, obviously a 48 uh, has a different rod, but the 5.3 and the 6 liter share the same rod length. So um, here as you see, we have the I-beam style, and this one's actually bent. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is out of my Porsche. Uh, 3,000 pound car running 940s at 145 mile an hour, and it's bent more than ways than one. It's bent that way, and it's bent this way. And the piston's actually cocked. See how it turns a little up there towards the top? Uh, that was done around 700 and something flywheel uh, horsepower, according to the calculator when you use weight in mile an hour. Differences, uh, obviously this one's beefier. It is a different design. Put it side by side here and show you the thickness difference. So it's definitely thicker. Um, same design on both sides, so I call it like an H. Whereas like this one here is kind of ridged on this side and this side's not quite the same, so it's not, not a symmetrical design. Uh, these, are a press pin and these are a free floating so these clips here these have a te the newer ones will have a Teflon skirt these ones don't uh, other than that I mean in the strength difference there's not really much else to show you it's just these are a lot stronger these can go quite a bit more horsepower don't get me wrong I've pushed these style rods pretty high horsepower and it all depends on which way they bend they, they always will bend but they may not bend in such a way to give you a problem this one happened to give me a little problem. As you see right here, there was a bit of a rubbing issue because the piston got cocked sideways and uh, that was making a tapping sound. So um, that's it. Just want to show you guys. This one's uh, out of a six liter. This is, so this will have a slightly different piston on the top, but uh, you can get an idea of the difference here in, in the beefiness. So I hope this helps some of you guys when you're at the junkyard trying to decide. Uh, my rule of thumb, is 600 wheel horsepower safe 700 wheel, wheel horsepower pushing it these ones 800 safe 900 a thousand pushing it now that's my rules everybody's a little different okay guys small video on the difference between the rods uh, typically called gen 3 gen 4 but more honestly it's 04 and older and 05 and newer uh, LS1 style, LS2 style, I-beam, H-beam, dimple rod, whatever you want to call them. Very nice, you see the difference.